present problem is of uh, gate uh, 2003 and uh, it is for two marks and it is in the area of uh, probability and random variables uh, first we'll uh, read out the problem it says that uh, let x and y be two statistically independent random variables uniformly distributed in the range from minus 1 to 1 and minus 2 to 1 respectively let x z equals to x plus y then the probability that z less than equals to minus 2 is and there are four options given here but and uh, we have to find out which is the right option so we can see uh, here uh, there are two random variables x and y which are statistically independent and their uh, PDFs uh, are given and they are uniformly distributed uh, over the given range and we have to find the uh, a z random variable which is summation of these two random variables and then we have to find the value for z less than minus 2 and what is the probability okay so we uh, see this problem there are two random variables which are independent okay then PDFs their PDFs are given here that uh, PDFs for uh, first function is given here see this is the PDF it's uh, informally distributed from minus 1 to 1 it is uniform and this is minus 1 to 1 that is minus 1 0 and 1 and we call it fx x is the uh, probability density function so this is the distribution uh, then uh, the second distribution is uh, given here uh, this distribution is the second distribution uh, that is ranging from minus 2 to 1 and uh, we call it f y y now we can uh, uh, find the amplitudes of these distributions uh, by finding the area under these uh, probability density functions and the area under the uh, probability density function fx x will be unity as per standard uh, relation so uh, if we say k1 is its amplitude k1 into 2 equals to 1 so value of k1 comes to be half similarly for the second uh, distribution the value k2 into 3 is equal to 1 so it is k2 is 1 by 3 so these are the amplitudes for this distribution now uh, some very important uh, uh, relation that you should know is uh, uh, because we have to find here the probability distribution function for z which is x plus y that is summation of these two random variables then uh, what should be done here is uh, we know that uh, to find the sum of these uh, random variables uh, we have to find the convolution of the probability density functions of these two fx and fy so that means uh, fz the, that means probability density function of fz would be the probability density function of fx convolution fy uh, this is very important relation and uh, then we have to uh, find here uh, for z uh, less than minus 2 uh, what is the probability so first we should be able to find the convolution of these two functions to get the uh, uh, probability density function for the uh, random variable z that is x plus y so you should uh, know how to find the convolution so let us see uh, if we see this uh, probability density function and this probability density function uh, normally to find the convolution uh, we have to uh, I would say uh, uh, we have to find for this uh, probability density function fxx fx minus x 
that means we have to fold this function folding this function and then moving this uh, over this function and trying to find out the convolution when there is a common area when it is uh, not common area then the convolution would be zero so if we see here uh, since this is a symmetric function even if you take fxx this is fx minus x and that is the a folded function that will also be same okay so if we do that maybe we try to find the convolution here uh, when we are in this position that means uh, uh, we when we find the convolution uh, over this uh, uh, region that means uh, fx minus x into fy and ds ds is a new variable uh, that is space variable so if you try to integrate uh, then we'll get uh, the this magnitude is uh, half this magnitude is 1 by 3 so this will be half magnitude 1 by multiplied by 1 by 3 into ds and if you integrate ds over the limit from minus 1 to 1 what we find is uh, minus 1 to 1 that means 1 minus 1 minus minus 1 so it will be 2 so this will 1 by 6 into 2 that is 1 by 3 so this will uh, give the amplitude at this point this is the amplitude of the probability density function which is the uh, function z and uh, if you as long as this function is within this that it will remain for one unit of time here within this the area would remain same and the value would remain same but uh, after that when it moves out when you are moving out from this uh, then what is happening is that area is decreasing so there will be a slope and uh, to find the limits uh, of the convolved uh, uh, integral is that uh, this limit is minus 1 and this is minus 2 so summation of these two limits will give me the limit that is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 will be the lower limit similarly the uh, limit on the upper side uh, you can find this will be uh, this is 1 and this is uh, here 1 so it will go up to 2 so these are the limits here so you can uh, plot this uh, function here you can notice here this is uh, uh, the value of this function uh, because it is uh, linearly decreasing this is at point between minus 3 minus 2 and minus 1 in between so this value here will be 1 by 6 and we have to find this area to find the probability that is half base uh, that is 1 into height and that is 1 by 6 half 1 into 1 by 6 this is 1 by 12 so this is the probability in this uh, region so you can just notice here this is the probability in this region so this is uh, as for option 112 uh, what I would suggest is uh, uh, good uh, videos uh, or good uh, references available on website uh, you can see under the heading of uh, uh, like uh, finding convolution, evaluating convolution, you will find a good number of uh, videos or literature and that will help you to uh, find the convolution of these functions. So that is the main function here and the finding the convolution uh, graphically you, you need uh, some kind of imagination because uh, this function has to be moved into this function and then you are uh, trying to integrate it so uh, that is uh, needs a little bit of understanding so I would suggest you that uh, you uh, go through uh, the material which is available on website and uh, uh, practice uh, more on the convolution because that will be useful to you for uh, uh, many other problems uh, for the communication so I would suggest that uh, see that uh, convolution plot on the website okay thank you